question. I got one more question. Uh, what what inspired you to to uh, with an idea that about the conferences like this? I wanted. I was so alone for so many years with Justine. For over three years, I didn't know anybody else with a child like her. She's the oldest one in our state, and I wanted some way for people to meet and be able to see these other children because Justine, when I started the conferences, was doing so well. She was walking and getting around and she doesn't have hardly any seizure problems. At that time, the seizures had been gone for almost two years. And I thought, you know, what a way for other families to get to know each other and be together because it was such a lonely world when there's so few children in any given area, you don't meet them. You know, and I had a lot of problems with people thinking that I was neglecting my daughter because she was so little and and stuff. And it wasn't, it was never that. It was just that with this syndrome, they don't grow. And I needed that contact with other families. And, and that was what inspired it. And the, my geneticist that we've seen for years gave me a grant of $2,000 that first year. And I bought notebooks for everybody and made up the by copied the bio sheets that another lady had started and put them in notebooks for everybody and and gave them all and paid for two meals with the money that the geneticist gave me and we wrote it as a group then of 27 families to continue doing it every other year every two years so that way other families would get to be able, as we grew as a group we could more families would get to know other children and I know probably a hundred children or more with this syndrome and I can't get enough of them and I want everybody to know that you know there's a lot of potential. These kids have the potential. Justine has never been tube fed. She's always eaten orally and you know so I encourage families to do the oral feedings as much as possible. If there is a medical reason for needing a tube, do the tube but you know try the feeding, oral feedings first because it's just I feel that it's the best way. And she's thrived on it. She loves her cheese, she loves her sour cream, she loves to eat, period. She, she's ready to go. <laughs> yep. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Awesome.